guys what is up welcome back to my channel for today's video i really wanted to sit down and share with you guys my self-care routine this is a routine that i do once a week and for me self-care just kind of means you know managing your stress it promotes relaxation and it helps kind of with my anxiety it just kind of makes me feel a little bit better about myself so i like to take one day out of the week to do all of these things that I'm going to show you just to kind of help clear my head and, you know, keep me in a really good mindset and make myself feel better. So if you guys want to see what my self-care routine is, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time I upload and make sure you check out my social medias. They are here on the page as well as down in the description bar. Let's jump right into the video guys. So as I mentioned, self-care is really, really, really important to me and I think that it should be important for you too. You should want to take care of yourself and you know when I'm feeling a little anxious or when I'm feeling stressed, when I do all of these steps that I'm going to tell you about. It just kind of helps me relax. I become less stressed. I become less anxious. And overall, I just feel really, really good about myself. For me, it all starts when I get into the shower. What I like to do is first, of course, I will start by washing my hair. Now, what I do on a normal day is I'll wash my hair with the Aussie Total Miracle Shampoo. Now, when my hair is colored or like, you know, I have fresh dye in my hair, I won't use any drugstore shampoo. I I will buy like it's a 10 products and pay for the more expensive shampoos and conditioners however since we're in quarantine I haven't dyed my hair in I don't even know probably almost a year now like even before quarantine even started so I've just been kind of resorting to what's on the cheaper end but I do want to try function of beauty if you guys know a lot of youtubers rave about their shampoo and conditioners and you can customize them to your hair type so I kind of want to try that out let me know in the comments if you've tried it out and what your thoughts are so on a normal day I'll go in with this shampoo and for my conditioners, I will use the Redken Extreme Length Conditioner and I'll mix it with the It's a 10 Miracle Deep Conditioner. But on a self-care day, what I might do instead is I will probably use a purple shampoo and conditioner to kind of tone my hair, get the brassiness out of my hair. The shampoo that I like to use, don't mind my bottle, it's a little dirty, but this is the Matrix Total Results Brass Off Purple Shampoo and then I will go in with this purple conditioner. This is the Redken Color Extend Blondage Express Anti-Brass Purple Conditioner. So these two products are what are recommended to me by my hairstylist. So that is what I use along with these two conditioners as well. I like to start by toning my hair, you know, making it look a little less brassy. It makes me feel a little better about it because if you have blonde hair, you know that when your hair becomes brassy, it just overall looks more oily. It kind of looks like orangey and it just, it doesn't look cute. So I like to start by using my purple shampoo and conditioner and getting all the brassiness out of my hair next what i'll do is i'll go in with body wash now i am a big scent and fragrance person when it comes to being in the shower so i really like this dove body wash this is in the fragrance shea butter and warm vanilla vanilla and coconut are my two top favorite scents i don't know there's just something about it that to, to me it's like oh, i need to have it in my shower so i will go in with this body wash and this just makes the experience so much better it leaves your skin really soft and it smells like a dream. So if you can get your hand on any Dove body washes, I recommend the Shea Butter and Warm Vanilla, like I said, but they do have some other fragrances and these are really good if you have dry skin. I tend to, especially in the winter and when it starts to get colder, get really dry, but I like to use a hydrating body wash all year round. Then what I will do is I will go in with my face. Now my face is very, very basic in the shower. I will just use my CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I will probably wash my face for at least a minute. I really don't double cleanse. I used to, but I don't do it anymore. Instead, I'll just like continuously wash my face for like a minute and then I will rinse it off. Then I like to get into exfoliating my body. This is a key factor in my self-care routine because it's probably one of my most favorite steps because it just feels so incredibly good on the skin. What I like to use for exfoliating, this is also from Dove. I really like their brand, if you can tell. This is their exfoliating body polish. This is in crushed lavender and coconut milk. You guys, what I like about this, and this might not be appealing to everybody, but the beads in here are so big and rough that to me, it feels so good on the skin, you know, rubbing the beads into the skin. I just, I like the roughness of the beads. I know it might not be the best for the skin, you know, because if you're using beads on your face, you know, you can get those microscopic tears, but 
I really, I need to use an exfoliator for the body. Like to me, it's one of the best things you can do in the shower. And this smells really good. It smells like lavender, not so much coconut. And it just leaves the skin baby soft. Like you are not going to have any dry patches on your body. You're not gonna have any dead skin cells left on the body. This is a must. And I will do this over my whole body, you know, from neck all the way down. And it just makes the experience for me so much more enjoyable knowing that like I'm getting all the grossness and like dead skin off of my body. Like, I don't know, there's just something that's satisfying about that. Also, since we're on the topic of exfoliating, I also like to go in and exfoliate my lips. So oftentimes what I'll do for this is I'll just use some sugar, you know, something I got from the kitchen. You definitely don't have to go out and buy a lip scrub. You can make your own at home if you want. You can mix like honey and sugar together. I personally, I just go in with some sugar, exfoliate my lips, and then what I'll do is I'll put on a lip mask. So for the lip mask, I like to use, this is from Laneige. This is their lip sleeping mask. I forget it's like a strawberry. It's like a berry scent But this is really really nice. It's thick So it's perfect for when you're going to sleep or just relaxing You know, you're not wearing any makeup and this keeps your lips feeling so so good They have a bunch of different flavors for this too. You can get the berry one like I did They have a vanilla they have a new gummy bear one that just came out and I think they have either like an apple or a lime I'm not too sure on the last one But these are really really nice and keep your lips feeling so hydrated and moisturized also back to hair I realized I forgot sometimes I'll go in with a deep treatment mask. This one is from shade moisture It's raw shea butter deep treatment mask with sea kelp and argan oil for dry damaged hair So a lot of times what I'll do if I I'm not using the purple shampoo or conditioner I will mix this with my other two conditioners and I will leave that sit in my hair while I wash my body wash my face exfoliate my body and do everything else that I'm about to show you so I don't like this mask a whole lot but it's really the only one that I have and I've tried so if you guys know of any really good hair masks let me know in the comments below my hair is so dry and damaged and I really just want to start getting more into hair masks so next after I exfoliate my body I will go in and kind of start shaving my body personally for me I like to use men's razors and you know I've been hearing a lot of women like to use men's razors so to me it's not weird in fact I think it's so much better they don't cut you as much as like a women's razor would I don't get like razor bumps with men's razors and I, I don't know I just think they perform a little bit better so the ones I like to use these are the Shix Hydro 5 for me personally I like the closest shape possible so I will get five blades and so in this pack you get four razors and they have like this little hydrating like gel kind of around the razors I kind of like it and I mean I only pay like nine dollars for these for four razors which to me isn't bad because if you look at some of the women's razors they're pretty expensive if you start getting into those like wet to dry razors and stuff like that so I like to use men's razors the other razor I like to use is from Harry's you can find that at Walmart which is also very cheap and works just as well as these razors the shaving cream I'll go in with this is actually new and I bought it a few weeks ago and I listen <laughs> it's my favorite shaving cream okay i probably won't go back to anything else this is from skin to Mint, and it is coconut delight scent this smells like a tropical coconut paradise when i'm shaving my legs or, or any part of my body for that matter which i will do on my self-care days just because i like to feel soft and hairless and stuff i will go in with this and this smells so good like i wish i could get this in a body wash scent instead of just the shaving cream because it smells so good like when you use these products this with the body wash with the exfoliator you're gonna be smelling like a hundred bucks when you get out of the shower so i really like this it's nice because it has vitamin e in it has coconut water in it and it's not drying on the skin it actually really hydrates the skin and it's nice and thick which I really really like it is a gel too I don't really like shaving cream as much as I like shaving gels I don't know there's just something about gels that I prefer more so if you can get your hands on this scent I promise you will not be disappointed all right so now that I've done the shaving what I will do next in the shower is I will go in with a foot grater listen when you're in shoes all day I'm sure most of you know you can get really rough patches on your feet or calluses on your feet and for me that's just no go I don't I don't want them on my feet I'm very particular about my feet I'm kind of insecure about my feet so I will go in once a week with a foot grater now sometimes I'll do it once every two weeks just because I don't want to overdo it and like end up cutting my skin but this I got off Amazon only a few dollars and it works watching the dead skin come off of the bottom of your feet I don't know there's something about it that's really satisfying and it leaves your feet feeling so so 
soft and you know you don't have those like hard that hard skin on the bottom of your feet anymore they feel really smooth and they just feel you know touchable like I've definitely known some people and even myself have had like calluses on my feet before just from like the types of shoes that I'm wearing and it's not cute it doesn't feel good against anybody so I like to use this and you know kind of get rid of that dead skin and keep my feet feeling super soft and it just kind of makes me feel a little more ladylike if you will all right so that is what I do in the shower now it's time to get out of the shower so oftentimes I will not do my hair I don't use heat on my hair very very often oftentimes I just let it air dry and I keep the wave that it air dries with but for today what I did was I used my Revlon one step hair you know the hairbrush that straightens your hair and blow dries at the same time you guys know what I'm talking about I use that today and I like using that sometimes but I definitely only use it a few times a month I like I said I rather just let my hair air dry but before I go in and I actually start brushing my hair when it's wet I will go in with the Brio Geo don't despair repair this is like a little travel size leave-in conditioner and I like it it smells really good I'm trying to like I said get more into hair masks and leave-in conditioners just because I don't know I never really cared that much about those products but as I get older I'm kind of starting to care so I will spray this in my hair and then sometimes what I'll do is I'll go in with this it's a 10 miracle leave-in product this one is actually I only have this much left I know you probably can't see through the bottle but I only have this much left and it's so hard to get out of the top here it's basically almost empty but I will go in with these two things and then what I'll do is I'll brush my hair I just use a wet brush just because I want a brush that's not going to damage any more split ends that I already have so I'll go in with a wet brush and then like I said I will usually let my hair air dry or in this case I used the one step styler brush and blow dried and straightened my hair at the same time. So if I'm going somewhere, that's what I'll do. But nine times out of 10, after I do this routine, I'm, I'm not going anywhere because this routine takes a little bit of time. And if I'm going somewhere, I probably don't got the time to do it. So that is that for hair. Then what I will do is I'll go in with a mask. I like to use this ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. The max that you can use this is twice a week. I use it, I would say probably twice a week. I try to if not at least once a week I use it and you leave it on for 10 minutes and I'm telling you when you are done your skin is just the smoothest it's ever been I don't know there's something about it it does kind of sting and burn within like the first minute of application I don't know if it does it for everybody but I do have sensitive skin so for me it does but then that burning and stinging goes away and it does leave my face a little bit red after using it but my face doesn't hurt after using it I don't get any dryness after using it I mean your skin you can just like all your bumps are kind of like and your texture are like smoothed over I can definitely tell that it's exfoliating the skin based on the feel of your skin afterwards and it's only seven dollars and it's gonna last you so long because like I said you the max you're supposed to use something like this is twice a week if you can get your hands on this go for it it's a really really great mask and it's like blood red which I don't know I think it's kind of cool I've never seen a mask that color but yeah this is definitely my favorite mask currently so then what I'll do is I'll take off that mask right and I will start going in with my skin care now I try to keep my skincare as simple as possible I'm really just not trying to add what I you know a few years ago I would have had maybe like 10 to 15 products in my skincare routine now the older I get I'm just like less is more in my opinion so I have went in with the cleanser I have went in with the mask now what I will do is I will use my toner this is the ultra repair wild oak hydrating toner from first aid beauty I really like their products like I said I have really really dry skin and I'm also very acne prone so I'm trying to kind of watch what I use on my face so I use this toner it's so hydrating it feels so extremely good on the skin and after using a mask like this that can dry your skin out a little bit I would recommend that you go in with something very very hydrating so I really like this I'll go in with this to tone and then what I'll do is I'll go in with the ordinary hyaluronic acid 2% and B5 this is my second bottle of this and I love it I don't know there's just something about it that leaves the skin feeling good I don't know it's cold it's really cooling on the skin so I don't know I just added in there for that extra you know self-care 
this, but it is has hyaluronic acid, so it's really, really hydrating for the skin. And then what I'll do is for moisturizer, I'll go in with my CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is actually new. I've only used this probably less than 10 times now, and I like it. I'm trying to find stuff that is a little bit more lightweight, but still really hydrating and maybe, you know, won't clog my pores and won't cause acne. And a lot of people recommend this, so I decided to pick this up and I really, really like it. And then after that, I will go in with an oil. This is also from The Ordinary. I really like their brand. This is the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. So after I apply my moisturizer, I will pat that onto the skin just to kind of lock in and seal all that moisture in. And yeah, I really like this. I, I just think an oil definitely gives you the most hydrated benefit. For me, an oil is a must. So then after I've done my skincare routine, what I will go in and do next is I will take a lotion and I will lotion my whole body. You know, we just exfoliated, we just shaved, so your body might be feeling a little bit dry. I will go in with the Sol de Janeiro lotion. This is a very pricey lotion at Sephora, but listen, the Brazilian bum bum cream smells like a paradise in a land far, far away, and I don't even know how to describe the scent but this stuff smells so so good oh, I don't even know how to describe it but I think when you smell good you feel good so I like to apply this all over my whole body and let me tell you when you apply this you're gonna smell like this for days days I put this on and I could still smell it on my skin like three days later and for me like I kind of like lotions like that because there's some lotions where I like the kind the scent to kind of you know dissipate over time but I like this scent so 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 much so I like to you know keep smelling it a few days later and it's very very hydrating but like I said it is pricey so you definitely don't have to go in with this specific lotion get a lotion that you like that smells good or a fragrance free lotion if you know you're really sensitive to fragrance I'm sensitive to fragrance as well but I don't know there's just something about this scent that really gets to me. So my body's exfoliated, I'm feeling really soft, I'm smelling really good, my skin is hydrated, my hair is not brassy anymore. The, all of those things make me feel really, really good about myself and just I feel better and I'm just like, oh, that was so relaxing to do all of those things. So that is why I like to use these specific products and that is, you know, why I like to do self-care once a week. I think it's really important, you know, especially if you're working full-time, you're a full-time mom, you're going to school you know like life can be really really stressful so I think it's good to take an hour or two out of the day to just kind of focus on you and just relax yeah you guys that is it for my self-care routine these are my top products that I've been using for a couple months and I'm not mad at it. I don't regret any of these products. I think they work really, really, really good. Like I said, if you guys know of any hair masks, let me know in the comments below and leave in conditioners because my hair is really, really naughty. It's super hard to run my fingers through my hair on most days. So I kind of want a product that's going to allow me to run my fingers through my hair without like ripping my hair out. You know what I mean? Because my hair is very thin, so it does fall out. It sheds everywhere and it's like the most annoying thing and I know that's probably not something I'm going to be able to fix but I want to be able like right now I can kind of run my fingers through my hair but even then like it's it's difficult for me so I want to find a really good mask and leave-in conditioner that allows me to do that kind of makes my hair feel a little healthier so yeah you guys that is it for this little routine make sure you subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload and check out my social media if you want to they're down in the description bar I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching. Bye!